This book is very interesting and special to me. It's called The Buddhist Literature of Ancient Gandhara by Richard Salomon. It was published in 2018 and it's about the discovery of Buddhist words written on ancient birch bark manuscript way before the invention of paper, buried deep underground in clay pots for 2,000 years. The Gandharan Buddhist scrolls were authentic Buddhist documents written in ancient script and Gandhari language, originating from the first or second centuries of the Common Era. These scrolls have been underground, buried in clay pots for almost 2,000 years. They're currently the most ancient examples that we have of original Buddhist writings. As of 2018, when this book was published, they're also the oldest known Indian manuscripts of any kind. The Buddhist literature of ancient Gandhara tells an exciting story about a hidden Buddhist culture in a place that was once called Gandhara, which is now part of northern Pakistan. Long ago, after Alexander the Great's conquest, many powerful empires grew along the Silk Road. Gandhara was one of these places and it became very important for Buddhism. Until the late 1990s, we didn't know much about Gandhara's Buddhist literature. Recent discoveries of manuscripts have shown that Gandhara was crucial in the early development of Buddhism, especially the Mahayana tradition, and also in spreading Buddhism to China. This book tells us what we've learned about Gandhara and its Buddhism. And what I think is really special is that it gives us clean and simple English translations. Richard Salomon, the author, has studied this for over 20 years and he's made it understandable for both regular readers and experts. I think this book is a beautiful achievement and lets us peek into a world of Buddhist ideas and practices that had been lost for 2,000 years. So this book contains a bunch of sutras or verses just text from that time translated to English and now I'm going to read the Rhinoceros Sutra which is a 40 verse poem about the solitary path to wisdom and enlightenment. Shunning violence toward all beings never harming a single one of them Compassionately helping with a loving heart. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. One keeping company nurtures affection. And from affection, suffering arises. Realizing the danger arising from affection. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. In sympathizing with friends and companions, the mind gets fixed on them and loses its way. Perceiving this danger in familiarity, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Concerns that one has for one's sons and wives are like a thick and tangled bamboo tree remaining untangled like a young bamboo, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Just as a deer wandering free in the forest goes wherever he wishes as he grazes, so a wise man, treasuring his freedom, wanders alone like the rhinoceros. Leave behind your sons and wives and money, all your possessions, relatives and friends, abandoning all desires whatsoever, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Among companions you waste time in play, and for sons you develop strong affection, dreading separation from dear ones. 
wander alone like the rhinoceros. The crowd will always make demands on you, wherever you live or stay or walk or wander, treasuring freedom which they do not value. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Even some renunciants are hard to please. So too the family men who live at home have no concern about the sons of others. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Games, delights, and pleasures of the senses. See no value in them. Disregard them. Ignore the fashions. Speak only the truth. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Be resolute to reach your final goal. Be never faint of heart, and be not lazy. Strong and firm in your determination. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Do not crave tasty food, and be not fickle. Nourish yourself as you make your rounds alone. Don't fix your mind on this house or on that one. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Avoid at any cost wicked companions who follow the wrong course, intent on evil. Don't get involved with men obsessed or careless. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Seek out the Dharma that is right for you, is praised by wise men and brings happiness. Do not desire a son, much less a companion. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. It cannot be that one who loves companions would reach liberation even for a moment. Heeding these words of the heir of the sun, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Seeing two bracelets gleaming bright with gold, perfectly crafted by the skillful smith, Clanging and banging together on one arm. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Pleasures are attractive, sweet and charming. But with their many forms, they confuse the mind. Behold the danger in all kinds of pleasures. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Forsaking sons and friends and even mother. Abandoning all desires whatsoever. And wealth and property and also friends. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Casting off the garments of a family man. Like the ebony tree that shed all of its leaves. Go forth clad in the medicant's saffron robe. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Break out from all the bonds of family life, like a bird that tears right through a heavy net, like a fire that does not return to its own ashes. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Like the lion who never startles at a sound, like a wind that cannot be caught in a net. Like the lotus that is unstained by dirty water. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. And like the lion with his mighty fangs, the king of beasts who wanders where he will, frequenting lonely spots to sit and sleep. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Keeping your vows, be perfect in your conduct. Behaving gently, aware of traps and dangers. Do not desire a son, much less companions. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Cultivate a friend who is inspired, learned, faithful to the Dharma, noble. Understanding Dharma, dispelling doubts. Wander alone like the rhinoceros.
If you should find yourself a wise companion, a well-behaved and trusty fellow, together you may overcome all dangers. So wander with him, satisfied and mindful. But if you cannot find a wise companion, a well-behaved and trustworthy fellow, then, like a king who leaves behind his kingdom, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Truly you may delight in all of your companions. Stay with the ones who are like you or better. But if you have none such, guard well your behaviour. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Walk in a village with your eyes cast down. Control your senses, always guard your mind. Uncontaminated and unburned by passion. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Remain in solitary meditation. Behave by the Dharma in all ways. Recognizing the perils of rebirth. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Passing beyond the errors of false views. Reaching the course. Attaining to the way. I have attained true knowledge. None need lead me. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Heat and cold. Hunger and thirst. Sun and wind. Insects and serpents. When you have overcome all of these, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Like a mighty elephant who shuns the herd, High in the shoulder, lotus-spotted, noble, who dwells in the forest, wandering at his will, wander alone like the rhinoceros. Free of greed, deception, faults, delusion, free of every stain and jealousy, free of concern for the entire world, wander alone like the rhinoceros. At home in the world, everywhere, unimpeded. Satisfied with whatever comes your way. Overcoming dangers, never trembling. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Abandon passion, anger and delusion. Desire and all the bonds of ignorance. Feeling no alarm at deadly danger. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Cultivate kindness, equanimity, compassion and joy, each at its proper time, unimpeded by the entire world. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Abandon the five obstructions of the mind and cast off all of the defilements. Overcoming dangers of all kinds. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. Gratitude is rare nowadays in this world. Devious and foolish are all of its people. Free yourself of all concerns toward it. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. They like you and they help you for a motive. It's hard to find a true friend nowadays. Don't fix your mind on this house or on that one. Wander alone like the rhinoceros. So if I were to spend my days with others, I'd waste my time in chatter or in quarrels, seeing this danger lurking in the future. I wander alone like the rhinoceros.